Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll find the logic for spine number. Spine number. So if you consider any number, so how can we find that number is a spine number or not? So in order to find that, what is meant by a spine number? Right? If the sum of all individual digits and product of all individual digits are equal are equal then we can say this number is a spine number so we need to find the individual digits and then we have to find the sum of all individual digits as well as the product of all the individual digits right so for example consider an example so 1 1 2 4 1124 you sum all the individual digits 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 so which will give 8 and product all the individual digits 1 into 1 into 2 into 4 it is also 8 so both are equal so we can say this as a spine number another example so 132 so add all the individual numbers which is 6 and product all the individual numbers which is again 6 so 132 is also a spine number so if the sum of all individual digits is equal to the product of all individual digits then we call it as a spine number so what we have to find out first so initially we need to find the individual digits steps so first step find individual digits so in order to find the individual digits what we have to do so n mod 10 will give the digit okay it starts from the ones place okay it starts from the ones place and finally, in order to reduce the number for the next iteration, it will be n double mod 10. Okay, this is a floor division. So, this will use to reduce the number. Reduce the number, right? So, for Python, we are supposed to use this one. And in order, in other languages, we'll use n divided by 10. Right? So, we, we can use any one. So, we can use a... Um, floor division or the normal division operator right so first we need to find the individual digits and then the second step in the second step we need to find sum and product sum and product of all the individual digits so one more way we can also find this pi number that is take the input as a string okay and iterate it iterate it so that we'll get individual digits right so convert that into an integer for example n is equal to 123 simply so this is of a string format so for i in n simply what you have to do sum is equal to sum plus int of i similarly product is equal to product into int of i so simply we can get the result okay we can get the sum and product you need not go with mod operator we need not go with a floor division but if you are up, uh, attempting in the competitive exam so competitive coding so just my suggestion is to avoid these type of uh, functions so write down the logic because so if you use the functions automatically the execution time will be more in python right the execution time will be more and you may get the time exceed problem time exceed problem so that's why so always you just prefer to write the logic instead of using the functions built-in functions okay when you are writing the competitive exams right so hope you find you understood this one 
So first we need to find the individual digits. In the second step, we need to find the sum and product of all the individual digits. So let's move on to the system and I will execute the same logic in Python, right? So you can use the same logic in C or C++ or Java, whatever it may be. But I will execute the program by using a Python language, right? So let's move on to the system and I will show you the execution. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the logic for a spy number. So in order to find the number is a spy number or not, we need to find the sum of individual digits and the product of individual digits. So let us execute the same thing while by using the Python. So first let us take the input n is equal to, so take down the integer. So input of enter number, right? So this will be in the integer format so that we have to do the logic. So just do the logic, uh, repeat the instructions until n greater than zero so that find out the reminder that is a digit so digit is equal to so n mod 10 so that you will get the ones position in inside the digit and now you need to add sum is equal to sum plus digit so initially the sum value should be zero okay initially the sum value should be zero so outside the loop we have to uh, declare this one so sum is equal to zero and then what we have to do next one is a product so product is equal to so here uh, product plus sorry product into digit okay product into digit uh, let us take some uh, yeah and also give the product as a one because we are doing the multiplication if you initialize the product as zero so the product always will be zero because the multiplication of zero is zero now we have to after performing all these things you need to reduce the n value so that n is equal to n a floor division sorry floor division 10 and we need to compare with the same value sorry we, we have to compare the, both the sum and product right so after completion of this just for find out the sum and product if sum is equal is equal to product so simply we can say it is a spy number given number is a spy number so let us take here uh, what is this one the number so uh, let us take here a temporary value which is equal to n so that uh, we will be having the value in temp right so temp is is a spy number right now, then if it is not equal to then write down the else path so we can simply write it as so temp is not a spy number right so if you execute this one i will take 1124 so you can say that the 1124 is a spy number right and if you take uh, 123 it is also a spy number if you take some 2 12 so it's not a spy number right because some of 12 is what is it three right a product of 12 is two so that's why both sum and product are not equal so that's why we get it is not a spy number right so this is how we have to find out the spy number so if the sum of all individual digits is equal to product of all individual digits of a given number then we can say that number is a spy number otherwise we can say it is a not a spy number right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much